Hi everyone, so in this video we'll be looking at uh, the unit circle, how it is used and how you can uh, memorize it as well. Okay, so the unit circle simply represents uh, four quadrants of angles ranging from 0 to 360. So let this be our, let's put it here, this is our 0 degree, this is 30, this is 45, this is 60, this is 90 here. Here we have 120, 135, this is 150, 180, okay, this would be 210, this here should be 225, 240 degrees, this is 270, Right here we have 300, here we have 315, here we have 330, and lastly this is also 360 degrees. Okay, so these are the angles that we have in degrees around the unit circle. It's important to, to note that we have quadrants running from quadrant 1 all the way to quadrant uh, 4. So, if you look at uh, the quadrants, from 0 to 90, that's the first quadrant. From 90 to 180, that's the second quadrant. From 180 to 270, <coughs> third, and lastly, from 270 to 360, that's the fourth quadrant. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is, uh, we have angles in degrees. Now we're going to bring in uh, the measure of angles in radians. Now, it's important to know the conversion factor. Okay, so... The conversion factor is pi, pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. Pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. Hence, meaning that I'll just do one as an example. So that is, uh, let's convert 30 degrees into radians. So meaning that we're going to put the 30 here. And this is equal to x. We don't know what x is. So if we cross multiply, we'll have 180 x is equivalent to 30 pi, like that. Since we're finding the value of x, we can divide both sides by 180. So at x is equals to 30 pi over 180. Hence, the value of x is equals to, so 30 there is 1, we run with pi. 30 here is 6. So uh, 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6 in terms of uh, radians. So let's just write it here, pi over 6. So we do the same for all the angles, then you can find all the angles in, in radians. So let me just do that quickly. Okay, there we go. So now we have every angle in terms of degrees as well as in terms of um, radians. So like I said, all these angles that we have in radians, they can easily be converted by simply um, using the conversion factor that pi is equivalent to 180. Then you do the conversion factor, and hence you have uh, the angle that we're looking for. So the next thing we're going to look at is, I want you to think of uh, this unit circle as a Cartesian plane, meaning that, of course, this will be our y-axis, this will be our x-axis. We know that in the x-axis, uh, the coordinate in this axis and since it's a unit circle, a unit circle simply means that the radius is 1, meaning that the distance from this point to that point, or the unit rather, is 1. So, at this point in the x-axis, the coordinate we're going to have will be 1, 0. 0 because there's no y in the x, and x, and the maximum is 1. So, this side will have negative 1, 0, like that. At the bottom here, we'll have 0, negative 1. Because it's the y which has a value this time around and at the top there we have 0 comma 1 okay so these values can also be obtained by simply saying the angle here is uh, 0 degrees so cos 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 1 the coordinates that we're going to be putting all around the, the unit circle will be in terms of x comma y now this x comma y that we have will be in terms of cos comma sine so the cos value and the sine value, just like that. Okay, so if we go at uh, 30 degrees, at 30 degrees, if we say cos 30, what we're going to get in terms of the side is root 3. 
over 2, comma, sine 30 is half. So we start with cos, then sine. Then we go at 45, cos 45 is root 2 over 2, comma, sine 45 is root 2 over 2, like that. When we go at 60, or half, um, cos 60 is half, and sine 60 is root 3 over 2, like that. So these are the coordinates that we find at those points. So now we have to do the same for all the points around. Now remember, this is in the first quadrant. And in the first quadrant, we know that cos is positive. Sine is also uh, positive. That's why all these coordinates are positive. Now, having the same coordinates that we have there, we shall do the same in the second quadrant. But this time around, in the second quadrant, we know that uh, uh, cos is negative. We have four quadrants. In the first quadrant, everything is positive, uh, every sign, cos, tan, positive. In the second quadrant, only sign is positive. In the third quadrant, only tan is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only cos. So these coordinates that we have here, we're going to repeat them on this side. Like this, we'll have root 3 over 2, comma half. The next coordinate is root 2 over 2, comma root 2 over 2. Next coordinate will be root 2, sorry. The next coordinate will be half, half, comma, this one here, root 3 over 2. Now, remember what I said, cos is supposed to be negative in this quadrant. Hence, every value for cos is negative, like that. When we come to the third quadrant, the same thing will happen. This time around, we're going in the downward direction. So this will be the same quadrant, that, the same coordinate that we have here, which is uh, root 3 over 2, comma, half. Now, in this quadrant, only tan is positive. Hence, cos is negative, sine is negative. Same quadrant that we had there, which is root 2 over 2, comma, root 2 over 2, like that. Now, both of them are negative values. And this coordinate here, is the same one as that one there, which is negative half, comma, negative root 3 over 2, like that. Okay. So now, we're only remaining with this quadrant. The same thing will happen. The same coordinates that we have there, we'll just have them in the opposite direction this time around. So in the opposite direction, this will be... So in this quadrant, we shall do the same thing. Uh, this coordinate here will be the same as this one, which is uh, root 3 over 2, comma, half. Now remember, in the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive, meaning that sine is negative. This coordinate here will be root 2 over 2, comma, negative root 2 over 2, like that. And the final coordinate, which is the same as that one there, is half, comma, negative root 3, over 2. So this is basically what we have on the unit circle. Remember that the unit circle represents angles which are also known as special angles and these special angles are the ones that we started by writing out there. Then you need to know they are corresponding angles in terms of radians. Then from there uh, we find the coordinates. The coordinates are represented by cos comma sine. So for example 300 cos 300 is half sine 300 is negative root 3 over 2. Now, this is one way of finding values using uh, the special angles on the unit circle. There's another method that you can use to find uh, these coordinates. And that method is when you use uh, reference triangles as well as reference angles. So, in case you want another method, another easier method, I would say, of finding these angles, uh, you can refer to the video that I've linked in the description that you direct you to the video on the reference uh, triangles. In case you have a question, feel free to drop it in the comments. Thank you very much.